Hey, let us talk about mythology again. And this time, let's dive even deeper into our grim journey. And beginning with another indigenous folk. But as always, before we are getting started, please like this video and subscribe, and if possible, also share this video as well. Now, with that being said, let's get right into it. Supai, in the traditional beliefs of the Andean region, especially among the Inca and local cultures, holds dominion as the god of the underworld, and of course the personification of death. He is a powerful and multifaceted deity, ruling over the Ukupaka, the inner world of the Andean cosmology, which is both a place of rest for the dead and a source of minerals and gemstones. As the ruler of the underworld, Zubai was both respected and feared. He was often depicted as a robust figure, formidable in appearance, embodying the dangers and darkness of the subterranean realms he controlled. This portrayal reflects his dual nature, as a guardian of the earth's riches and as a stern ruler over the souls of the deceased. And during the Inca Empire, Zupai was associated with both protection and retribution, commanding a host of demons known as Zupaikuna to enforce his will within the dark corners of the earth. Despite his fearsome reputation, he was also recognized as a necessary part of the natural order, yet again, maintaining balance between the living world and the afterlife. Now to the Tuoni in Finnish folklore. It is a formidable god of the underworld, ruling over the dark and serene realm known as Tuenella. In this shadowy domain, often depicted as a peaceful yet somber place, serves as the final resting place for souls. But unlike many other mythologies that depict the underworld as a place of torment, Tunello is portrayed more as a place of eternal rest, reflecting the finish with respect for death as a natural part of life. Similar to the Norse mythology, if you remember. Tony himself is a figure of deep respect and intrinsic fear, embodying the, yet again, inevitability of death. He is not alone in his duties. His family, including his wife, Tuoneta, and their children, play crucial roles in the operation of the underworld. This family aspect highlights the communal nature of the Finnish afterlife, where the dead are welcomed and guided by familiar figures. If you remember, we have something similar in the voodoo tradition as well. Anyway, in mythology, Tony is occasionally depicted in negotiations with other gods or interacting with heroes who venture into his realm either to challenge him or seek his wisdom. These stories often serve as a moral lesson about the nature of life and the futility of trying to escape death. Despite his grim responsibilities, Tony is not viewed purely as a malevolent deity. Rather, he is a necessary part of the world structure, maintaining, you guessed it, balance between life and death. His presence and that of his family in Finnish mythology provide comfort and the knowledge that the afterlife is under the watchful care of Judas's custodians. Now to Siddhartha. Siddhartha is esteemed in Visayan mythology as the god who presides over the death of mortals marking the time when each person's life will end. His dominion is not merely over the act of dying, but involves a deep connection with the fate and lifespan of individuals, indicating 
a complex role in the cosmic order. Residing on Mount Majas, the highest mountain in Panay, Siddhartha's abode is said to be a place where the divine intersects with the mortal worlds. From this lofty vantage, he is depicted as observing the lives of people, determining their longevity based on a sacred tree, upon which the names and destinies every person are inscribed. This imagery emphasizes his omnipresent and, of course, all-knowing nature, overseeing the natural progression of life and death. Venture with me into the shadowy realms of ontology, where hidden connections and forbidden knowledge await. Together, we will uncover the dark secrets that lie beneath the surface of these ancient tales, revealing that there is much more to mythology than mere stories, and there are profound truths waiting to be discovered. So, join me on this journey and let's explore the mysteries together. Thanks for watching.